welcome to the final episode in the round of 32 of the Orlando World Sunday Showdown series. This week's episode takes us back to a former Universal Studios attraction, Twister Ride It Out and to Animal Kingdom, before Hypercopter Expedition Everest. Let's take a look at both of this week's attractions. Universal Studios was originally well known for being a behind the movie scenes theme park when it opened in the early 90s, with many attractions themed to film sets and special effects. One of the big special effects shows at the time was Twister Ride It Out, a behind the scenes exhibition and a special effects stunt show. It opened as a replacement to the Ghostbusters spectacular stage show, opening on the 4th of May 1998. The show was based on the popular nature of disaster film Twister starring Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton, taking guests into the behind the scene movie magic, showing how actors interacted with weather elements and other visual effects, as well as the main stage set, with the incredible forces of weather and powerful tornadoes. The attraction was known for being a wild experience, which put you straight into the path of a very powerful Twister, and with many special effects and animatronics adding to the carnage which unfolds in front of you. Expedition Everest is known as one of the mountain attractions within Walt Disney World, standing at 199.5 feet tall, it's the tallest structure within the Disney Resort, being just 6 inches taller than Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios. It opened in 2006, at a cost of $100 million, at the time, the most expensive roller coaster ever built, until Hagrid's magical creature's motorbike adventure smashed the record in 2019 at $300 million. The attraction is a hypercoaster which features several switch tracks, with both forward and reverse sections of the towering attraction. It's similar to Thunder Mountain and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train in terms of theming and pace, but features an 80-foot drop. It's a fun attraction which takes you through the Himalayan mountains to the base of Mount Everest, in one of the most fun coaster rides in the Disney Resort. Now let's head into this week's series of 5 rounds, and see which of these two attractions take the final slot going into the round of 16. Let's go to round 1. With special effects and behind the scenes movie shows becoming the more popular attractions of the 1990s, taking guests into the world of blockbuster movies like never before. Attractions like Twister Ride It Out became the main focus for the likes of Universal Studios at the time. The attraction was themed on the locations from the Twister movie, located in Waikata, Oklahoma, with many props and landmarks featured in the movie. The inside pre-show was themed to Aunt Meg's tornado-damaged house, with carnage littered all around you, creating the devastating scene of the powerful natural phenomenon. The main show features several twisters, and the effects these have on the environment around them, bringing a thrilling and somewhat intense encounter with the world's most intense weather segments. Twister was themed really well with many incredibly realistic special effects, which did a fantastic job of making guests feel like they were part of the frightening natural disaster. Expedition Everest and a record-breaking attraction for both height and original construction costs, both of which have contributed to the immensely detailed ride. The ride is themed around the Himalayan Escapes Travel Agency which is located in the fictional Circa Zong region at the foot of the Himalayan mountains. Expedition Everest takes riders on the treacherous journey through the mountains where they come face to face with the mythical creature known as the Yeti, which stands at over 25 feet tall, and was one of the most complex animatronics ever built for a Disney attraction. The attraction is themed so incredibly well, so much so, that even on a minuscule scale to the real mountain range, you are taken along for an immersive ride through a visually stunning route, taking you into the unknown heights of the mountain. It's fun and thrilling, and the theming and story draw you in, making it one of the most popular rides at Animal Kingdom. So in round 1, with just a little bit more theming on a much larger scale, Expedition Everest snatches the first point as we head on to the second round.
One advantage to the special effects style shows is that they can accommodate larger groups of people. Twister Ride It Out is a spectator attraction, which features mostly walkthrough and standing segments in various themed areas. Each area of the attraction can hold a couple of hundred guests at a time, with around 500 guests able to view the show in a continuous motion. This makes the average hourly capacity approximately 2,400 guests per hour, which for a special effects show at the time, was a fairly decent capacity. Over the years though, it became a less popular attraction, with less shows per hour, and a limited seasonal schedule at various points of its lifespan. Expedition Everest has a surprisingly good capacity for a coaster which has a few switch tracks in its layout. But with some clever seamless trickery from the ride animatronics and theming, it keeps the coaster moving almost continuously through the circuit. The ride operates with six trains, each with six cars. Each train has 17 rows, with riders seated in two in each row, for a total of 34 riders per train. That gives a total of 204 riders per each full ride cycle. This gives an average early capacity of 1,800 riders per hour. Which means in the second round, the Universal Studios special effects show levels the score as it claims the point as we head now to round 3. Twister Ride It Out was split through three shows and the main event itself, each lasting a few minutes of time. The pre-show segment set the story on the TV screens, featuring the stars from the movie and helped to build up a bit of the suspense leading up to the spectacle on the main sound stage. The attraction ran for approximately 12 minutes, with the main part lasting almost 6 minutes, where guests are subjected to torrential weather and a powerfully violent twister. It was an interesting period of time, giving both a thrill value and a level of education, giving an insight into how the scenes were created. It didn't pass by too quickly, and offered a fairly balanced experience throughout, and was a worthy attraction to visit. Expedition Everest runs at a fairly lengthy duration for a roller coaster ride. It was considered one of the first highly themed show coasters, featuring a number of unique elements which helped 59 raise the duration slightly. At 2 minutes and 50 seconds, Expedition Everest gives just enough time to take riders through a thrilling enough experience, adding to theming by speeding up the chase from the Yeti, but feeling long enough where it doesn't pass too quickly. But in round 3, for duration, Twister Ride It Out clearly takes the point, for being a much longer attraction. Let's move on now to the penultimate round. Twister Ride It Out was fondly regarded as one of the more memorable behind-the-scenes special effects movie attractions in Orlando. It was one of these attractions which opened up the door to special one-of-a-kind look at the magic behind the movies, and provided a dramatic experience like no other attraction at the time. As with most of these types of shows, they were initially very popular, with park guests looking for a privileged look behind the scenes, giving guests a special insider look at how the tricks were produced, offering an educational element. But over time, as computers and technology advanced, traditional methods became less impressive, and as such eventually had an effect on what guests wanted to see from theme park attractions. Therefore the popularity of Twisted Window like many other attractions, and eventually became a seasonal attraction before ultimately closing. The Expedition Everest Hypercoaster has always been considered one of the best and most popular attractions within Disney World. It was only the second ever Disney roller coaster which had backwards movements, after the Indiana Jones coaster attraction at Disneyland Paris, and also one of the only attractions within the resort to use switch tracks which both use forward and reverse movements. 
Expedition Everest is always near capacity, being an ever-popular attraction within the park, which has steadily began adding more thrill rides over the years. But for popularity, the hypercoaster at Animal Kingdom takes the point to level the score for being a steady performer in the park as we head to the fifth and final round. Twister Ride It Out as an overall attraction doesn't have a vast amount of thrills for its lengthy duration. But what it did offer during its main show segment was quite exciting. Much of this time built up a dramatic undertone, leading up to guests witnessing the power and impact of a full-force tornado, with many special effects, from wind, rain, structural damage, to flying debris, and even animals, along with flames and other visual effects. The attraction did a great joke at creating a real-life natural phenomenon with artificial sources. It was a fun and intense few minutes, which certainly gave a few thrills, although in modern day attractions, it would seem somewhat predictable now, with the use of some older effects. Expedition Everest is a really fun and thrilling coaster ride. It's not the most intense ride, and is very similar to other family coasters in the Disney parks, like Thunder Mountain and Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It does have the element of fear attached to it, as you expect to run into trouble along the way, while trying to avoid the dangerous yeti in the mountains. The ride takes you to the peak of the mountain, where the track ends, almost tipping you over the edge of the 200-foot high ridge, before hurtling you back with incredible power as you roll mercilessly back down the forbidden tracks. It's a fun ride, with enough intensity and immersive elements to make this a very decent family thrill ride experience, and is testament to it being such a good ride. So in round 5, after a back and forth contest this week, Expedition Everest takes the final point to end the contest. So after all five rounds, we now do have a winner. Which does however mean that the former special effect attraction drops out of the competition. Twister Ride It Out was one of the best special effects attractions from the original Universal Studios types of attractions. It offered such a clever use of technology and had a lot of good immersive effects drawing you into the movie magic like never before. Expedition Everest advanced to the round of 16. Join us next week for a special recap episode of the round of 32 and see which attractions head to the round of 16. See you next time. We hope you enjoyed this video, please support us by subscribing to our channel. You can find us on social media platforms, find us on Facebook and Twitter at Orlando Worlds, and on Instagram at The Orlando Worlds. Thanks for watching.